We begin this morning with a new terror threat. Nearly two dozen of our embassies and consulates stretching from North Africa to Southeast Asia will remain closed as of today. More than a dozen American embassies and consulates are being ordered to close this Sunday. Baghdad, Cairo, Dubai, Kabul, Riyadh, Tripoli, and several other cities where demonstrators regularly put American flags and lighter fluid on the same shopping list. And Americans could, could be their target. The U.S. is very worried about the possibility of an al-Qaeda attack in the Middle East and North Africa. Out front tonight, developing story, a major terror alert. Peter King says the intelligence information is the most specific he has ever seen. While there might be a date, uh, the place is not known. The intelligence does not mention a specific location. Well, certainly, as you've seen, the, the geography of this threat is extraordinarily broad. Obviously, this warning is 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 broad. I've never, never heard of anything quite so broad before. Something in the intelligence suggests Sunday is a real day to be concerned about. Uh, August 3rd through the 6th. Let's talk about the timing of all this. We're specifically looking at August 4th. But the timing, very specific. They're talking about Sunday. A special and important day uh, in the Islamic calendar as it relates to the holy month of Ramadan. And Sunday, tomorrow being the day that these embassies and consulates are closed, it's also called the so-called Night of Power, one of the holiest days on the Muslim calendar. And this all coincides with the end of Ramadan. The Muslim holy month. That comes towards the end of Ramadan on a night known as the night of power. One reason, the holy days ending the Islamic month of Ramadan are approaching, a time of potential tension. The precaution as a result of Benghazi, what happened before, during, after. This, according to reports, was a reaction against what uh, happened in Benghazi, a kind of do-over. Do you think those reports are accurate? After accusations of laxity around the Benghazi consulate, the State Department keeps using this phrase, the abundance of caution. There are also questions already being raised around Washington. Is some of this because of what happened in Benghazi when the U.S. didn't see the threat coming? I'm an al Zawahri. The head of al-Qaeda core in Pakistan has appointed Nasir al-Wahishi, the head of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, as his overall general manager, which is unprecedented because he is living in Yemen. He is not living in Pakistan. Now facing the link between Ayman al Zawahi, the successor to Osama bin Laden, and the Yemenis, the U.S. may be taking a cautious but necessary approach. Experts say AQAP is actually gaining strength and power across the region. It's not just Benghazi. There has been a sort of increased threat against U.S. interests uh, in the Middle East. This is very much Ayman al Zawari's strategy. You've got people who spend their lives plotting how to hurt Americans. Mm. So until every one of those people is eliminated or they change their motivations. This is maybe a misdirection that they're planning actually to attack someplace else. Maybe in the United States, maybe in Europe. It's, it's hard to tell. If they wait till another day, that's a victory. I know it's not perfect. Quote, it all leads us to believe something could happen in the near future.